So what's up guys? So popular men's lifestyle Manosphere YouTuber First Man just released a video saying that he's ending his channel, ending First Man. And before we jump into this video, man, I'm just going to say right off the bat, it wasn't necessarily a clickbait kind of video because his channel is still going to be there. He's not deleting it. He's not deleting any of the videos, but just the content, the type of content that He's going to be posting on his channel really is changing to more just genuinely great stuff going on in his life stuff that's not so manosphere related but stuff that he likes to do for fun and i wrote a lot of notes right on the, his video that he just released where he talks about really he really dogs the manosphere i mean he really goes out and just I mean, he shreds the manosphere, shreds the red pill apart. And before we dive into this video, man, uh, First Man, for those of you that don't know, First Man is a men's lifestyle YouTuber, or was a men's lifestyle YouTuber who basically talked a lot about not just, you know, fitness advice, advice with women, he was the first YouTuber to coin the term the male advantage where... Um, if you're not familiar, the male advantage is the concept that if you put in the work, male, early male life, college, teenage years, 20s, put in the work, hardcore in your 20s, fitness, developing your career, all of that stuff. By the time you hit your 30s, your mid 30s, you're going to be in the best shape of your life. The 30s are the prime core of your life. You're going to have an amazing life really in your 30s, 35, kind of that peak of your prime as a man. Um, he kind of coined the concept, the male advantage. His videos, they weren't always flashy with the special effects. They didn't have that background music. He was just a raw, authentic dude, just genuinely preaching his thoughts on camera, man. And when you look at the manosphere today, there's really not many other YouTubers who do that. There's really not many of them left. What First Man did was, what I really liked about him was he was just a very genuine dude just trying to help men out there. And the reason he left the manosphere as he talks about in his recent video is because he just feels like there aren't genuine people really he's just disgusted by it he's disgusted about the type of things that people in the manosphere preach today on how to become a high value man and it's funny dude because i and it's funny man because i wrote down i watched his video um just a little while ago called the end of first man and where he basically is talking about why he's again not deleting his channel but going to be switching his focus to other better things in life and when I tell you, man, he dogged, he really dogged these red pill content creators. He really took a shit on the manosphere. I mean, he really, he really took a shit on the manosphere, man. I mean, I wrote down like all of this stuff, a lot of notes, man. And I mean, this is some of the stuff he said, and it's crazy how much I resonated with this stuff, bro. Uh, the manosphere just showing off toxicity rather than providing actual substance. This is, this is all stuff first man said in his video, by the way, the manosphere men's lifestyle does literally nothing but tell men to, and I'm paraphrasing a little bit because he was talking pretty fast, but this is some of the stuff he said, men's lifestyle content, turning men into the thing that they preach so much to just be against turning men really into the matrix rather than against the matrix. They're very inauthentic. These high self-made millionaire top 1% men, all they do is sell crazy online courses, smoke cigars. They milk all this advice, give delusional advice. If you genuinely, this one was facts, man. I really resonated with this part where he's like, if you want to genuinely help people, why is your course priced at 1500? I mean, that, that's facts right there, man. Why the hell is your course priced at 1500 if you want to genuinely help people? And I'll, I'll just bullet point a few more points because there's so much he said in this video that, like, he really, it's, he is so spot on, man. I mean, how you guys got nothing but digital products. How many, how many girls do you guys actually have on your own arm? The leader of the Manosphere started out 
as trying to become a reality TV star on Big Brother, which for those of you who aren't aware, he's referring to Andrew Tate. Um, his really first, he wanted to become like a reality TV star like years ago on the CBS TV show. I think it's called, it's called Big Brother. I've heard of it. I've never watched an episode, but then he goes on to say everybody on the internet these days has been in the manosphere has been acting like an 18 year old. Um, you can be a high 1% man. You don't need any type of supercar. You don't need cigars. And this is the part where I really, really thought was awesome where he was just like, I don't have a Ferrari. I don't have Gucci shoes, but at the end of the day, I retire. I was able to retire my mom. And this is stuff that, you know, I might not have gotten the exact quotes down because he was talking pretty fast, but I tried to paraphrase what he was saying to the best of my ability, man. And he's just, you know, he's just being very, very authentic. And I really loved that video about him. I really like how, and the part of the reason, man, you know, he even said stuff about how the purpose of like men's lifestyle has changed. But anyways, what I really liked about first man and what, why I subscribed was he was very authentic, right? He genuinely on his videos wanted to help people. And here's a guy who just got disgusted by the state of where men's lifestyle, manosphere, self-improvement content is going. And he decided he's done with it. And he even brought the point that everything you need to succeed to level up in this world is just done. Like it's, on his channel if you need advice on a topic just go to his channel it's all there he was straight up like there's no more he's not going to be making any more of these videos because everything you need to succeed is right there just right on his channel and i really really respected that man and i look back right to why i started youtube i wanted dating to be one of the main topics but as i've come to realize man it's like how much fucking dating content can you really be consistently putting out there where you're not really like regurgitating the same thing. And I'm not saying I'm going to just pause and not put out dating content. I still will. But at some point, man, it's like you got to either kind of branch out or you got to just switch and make it more unique and just because at the end of the day, it's all the same stuff like dating content like how many times can you say the same thing, but in a different type of video, you know, like you guys aren't stupid. You know what girls want, man. It's not a complicated rocket science. Dress well, take care of yourself, be confident, have a great lifestyle, be able to carry out a conversation. And what he first man was really saying in this, in his recent video was just like all, all of these red pill guys, they're all bullshit. Thing is, you know, I'm guilty of it to a certain extent. When I started this YouTube channel, I had a lot of stupid, cringy videos in the beginning of it talking about red pill this, red pill that. And what I've come to realize is, fuck all that. And what I've come to realize is, it's all BS, bro. It's all BS. Like, all it's doing is just brainwashing you into one single ideology. And that's not the way it should be. That's not the way it is. That's not the way it should be. And... As being somebody, as somebody who's watched First Man's channel a lot, you know, what I really, the other thing I really respected about him was how he talks about, you know, he's not red pill this, he's not red pill that. First Man's real name is Chris, that's his first name, but he would always say, like, he's not red pill, he's just Chris. He's just a guy who views things this certain way. And I really respected that, man, I really respected that. And at the end of the day, he's right. It's just a bunch of fake marketing, just people selling all these expensive courses. The part I loved, and I actually made a video on this about red pill brainwashed is, you know, podcasts, all these podcasts, just kicking out women, you know, causing these same women to become the same things that these men don't want them to become. I mean, really think about it, man. You gotta take all these women, they go on a podcast, Next thing you know, they walk off the podcast and bam, thousands of more followers, right? He's right because I look at my own content too and I'm not saying I'm anywhere near to that amount of subscribers that he has, obviously, but I've just noticed with the very small audience that I do have, the 
content that doesn't have the stock images or the stock photos or the stock videos, the special effects, all the raw content such as this, right? Where, without, you know, the stock videos, without the background music, all the raw longer form content. I mean, the, people don't have the attention span to watch it all the way. They really don't. People just want just girls. They want special effects. They want cool things moving around. Like all the man is what the manosphere has become is just a space where men just gather to bash women. Nobody really wants to self improve. They just want to go and join and circle jerk in those communities to just bash women, talk about how hard it is for males. What the manosphere is, man, it's just a scam. It's all a bunch of it's all a bunch of scam. It's just scamming, man. And I didn't want to make this video, you know, all about first man. Again, I said what I needed to say, man. I respect the hell out of him for leaving out of this space. I said what I needed to say. He was one of my favorite content creators. I not that I agreed with everything he said. Um, the whole stuff about like marriage, polygamy, you know, I have a little different take on that, but like 95% of it, man, I really did resonate with his content and it's sad to see him go. But at the same time, I understand it. You know, I understand it at some point in time, you have to grow up and you have to distance yourself from things that are very, very toxic. And I applaud him for changing the direction of his YouTube channel for now uploading things that he genuinely wants that he genuinely enjoys right not saying you know oh i'm stuck in this niche of manosphere self-improvement he's taking a limb and he's gonna do something else upload different types of content on his channel and you know i'm excited to see it man i'm excited to see learn more about the guy learn more about his personal lifestyle what he likes to do he said stuff about streaming live sports i mean i'm excited to see it man you know, life isn't all about just body counts and Instagram followers and the toxic, you know, the masculinity complaints and feminism and all that bullshit. Life's not all about that, man. So anyways, guys, going on to the direction of my personal channel, man, I know the growth has been slow, but I really also, you know, I want to change the direction of some of this type of content that I've been posting, not focus it so much on girls, girls, dating this, dating that. Um, again, when I started YouTube, I too, you know, came to it with a very genuine mindset. I wanted to genuinely help people because a lot of my friends would come to me for advice on dating and just improving their life. And although, you know, the, at the end of the day, I feel like dating content, it's, there's all, there's all, there's so much you can preach about it. You know, not saying I'm going to stop having dating content on there, but I'm going to offer some dating content. That's a little bit more unique, right? Not just the same every day, you know, five things to attract women, six things that women look for in a guy how to get out of the friend zone, man. Like there's enough videos on that stuff, you know? So really want to expand my channel more too. Another thing that I've been very passionate about is mental health. I think for some reason, the manosphere doesn't talk about mental health enough. It just doesn't. And for me, you know, I mean, I'll say it right. You know, I've struggled with mental health. Everyone's struggled with mental health at some point. I think we need to talk more about mental health, right? Just improving our lifestyle is in general, living a healthy life, not being so toxic, having a positive mindset, man. So definitely want to have more videos on mental health coming up too, because as a men's lifestyle content creator, man, you can't ignore mental health. They really don't talk about just mental health in general, depression. Um, you know, a lot of these guys, Sneeko, they're just so, I think, ignorant and they're so focused on just that one part of life. It's like you don't really know these guys personally outside of that one part of life, right? Manosphere this, body counts, feminism, girls, 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 like have a Ferrari, million dollars. It's like, what about the other parts of life, bro? So definitely when it comes to mental health, I want to be posting more 
topics definitely related to that in the future not just you know the dating and self-improvement but mental health as well man so really the video really man today's video was just a reaction to one of my favorite content creators first man just calling it quits more so on the self-improvement content and just changing the direction of his channel which i respect the hell out of him man because i get it how much more can you talk about girls this girls that body count this body count that one percent man right ferraris how like where is the content out there where there are people genuinely trying to help others and like i'll say man you know I, when i started my youtube channel i kind of fell into that trap right of the just you know red pill this red pill that but just expand my channel more to just genuine positive outlook on life expanding it to mental health career development just genuine self-improvement, man. I'm not perfect. Nobody is. You know, at the end of the day, trust me, my intent is never to hurt anybody. My intent is never to make anybody feel bad. So really going forward, the outlook of this channel, man, it's going to be way more positive. Distancing myself from just the toxic manosphere crap that's out there. Stop being so narrow-minded with all this red pill bullshit really just living life with a positive outlook on self-improvement and developing as a man and becoming the best possible version of yourself so anyways guys that's my thoughts on the whole end of the first man thing and the future of my channel and the direction i want to take it on self-improvement again shout out to first man that's it for today's video and i'll see you all next time peace